Chrissy. I love that you're back in Maine. Yo, what up, though? Calling for Chrissy T. Oh, it's just Chrissy. What's she going to say next? Chrissy T in the morning, more like Chrissy unfiltered in the morning. Maine's new way to wake up. Chrissy in the morning on Portland's number one hit music station, Q97.9. Yes, Chrissy, you're on the queue. Let's go. Woo! Back up, back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, honey? What's your name? Wonderful. Serena. Oh, that is such a cool name. I love that. Thank you. And I love you. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy... Oh, let's not do... No, let's not do the Barney. That makes me a joke. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. You, you put me in check. Go ahead. But yesterday was my birthday. It was? Yeah. Oh, can I play you a song? Please do. Okay, I'm going to play a song. I need a good one, because it was so depressing, I had to work on my birthday. Oh, my God. I think there should be a rule across all companies that you don't have to go to work on your birthday. It's a holiday. And then I worked an extra hour, too. Oh, my God. By choice? <laughs> Voluntarily. Oh, my God. Are you gaslighting me right now? No, totally true. Wait, okay, I love you so much. You're like, you're like, oh, I had to work on my birthday, and then I had to do an extra hour. And I'm like, okay, but did you have a choice? You're like, yeah, but still. <laughs> well, I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> no, never lie to me, please. This is all transparency on this show. Oh, God, girl. I'm a lot of things, but a liar ain't one. Uh, I love it. Well, girl, happy birthday, and I think you should celebrate either tonight or Friday or all month. Girl, if I could do that, I would, but unfortunately, I don't want anything cool to celebrate with. I'm a single mom of three, so unless you're going to find me a date night all for me, <laughs> you know, it's hard to get out there for a girl, you know? Hold on. I think that I have a little bit of power to do this. <laughs> I really can get oh, you a date. Oh, Lord. Now I'm a little scared. But okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I like where this is. I like where this is going. Okay, here. Let's do this. How about you tell me some features that you like in a guy? Oh, honest, respectable, doesn't live with their mom, um, likes plants, easy. animals, likes to give back, and... That's about it, I guess. Maybe doesn't wear holy clothes. Yeah, we're not trying to be Travis Kelsey out here courtside with all the holes in his pants. Did you see that? Oh, no, I heard about it, though, on your show. Gosh. And it killed me. It was so funny. My God, like, why is Taylor Swift's cat tearing up his her boyfriend's I mean, it, pants? I mean, she, she did embroider his pants. I don't know, maybe she has a crush on him, Loki. They're dating. They're dating. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Babe. <laughs> Where have I been? I told you I live in a rock. Girlfriend, I don't really, yeah, what are you, Patrick All from SpongeBob? You just literally heard me volunteer my life. I'm boring. Oh, okay, now we're fighting. That was like the biggest news of the world. That's why she took over the NFL single-handedly because she's dating the, the Chiefs guy. Travis Kelsey. Oh, that makes so much more sense right now. Mm, there's a light bulb. <laughs> oh, well, I don't get out much and I work all the time. I have two jobs. Oh, girl, I get it. I, to I, do I have like three jobs. I get it, girl. I get it. We're going to find you a date. Uh, right now, 775-7979. If there are any eligible bachelors out there that fit that description. What was your name again? Serena. Serena. We're going to hook you up with Serena, okay? Oh, Lord, I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. Give your future boyfriend a kiss. Go ahead. Mwah. Mwah. Let's, be Let's begin now. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I woke up this morning and I said... You're really going to sit here on my phone and tell me that you don't wash your feet in the shower and you think that's okay? No. What? <laughs> What? So I'll take my loofah, wash all the way down my ankles, and sometimes like the tops of my feet. But no, not usually. I don't think I, I really. So the ankle is the cutoff. Like, the ankle is the cutoff. Yeah, I also always wear socks. I don't like to be bare feet, and I wear pants all summer long. Okay, but socks make your feet smell worse. I, I, my feet never stink. I don't believe you. I, I swear to God, I didn't even start wearing deodorant until I was like thirty because I just don't. I. Oh, it must no, be so I nice went. to be you. <laughs> here I am giving yeah, 120 no, my... units of Botox in my armpits not to sweat. And you're over here like, my feet have never once stank in their life. I mean, they may have. Like, if I wear 
my rain boots outside and I'm oh, working that's the outside boundary? for long periods of time. Is that the boundary? Uh, Only if I wear rain boots will I wash my feet? Well, no. I mean, unless they really stink, they get pretty clean in the shower, like your friend said. Hold on. Can you try saying that again? Because you broke up a little bit, but I need to hear the monstrosity that's about to come out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they get pretty clean in the shower, like your friend said, when you're standing there and all the soap runs down your leg into your feet. No, 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 no. Just Okay, so just because <laughs> just because you're in a swimming pool, does, it mean that you, does that mean you took a shower because you're in water and you're not scrubbing? That's basically well, what that you're saying. Well, that chlorine is actually cleaning your that chlorine is actually cleaning your body and like mites and things like that throughout the day mm. off your body. But no, it doesn't exfoliate the dead skin. So I'm, you I'm, definitely need to like rub in the shower. I'm not gonna win with you, am I? No. You and I are pretty pretty strong headed, so I don't get it. But, I don't no, get I, it. You must wash your feet. I agree with baths and stuff and hot tubs though. I'm not a bath person or a hot tub person. Things like linger and stay in there for way too long. But yeah, my feet, they don't really ever stink. They're always clean. And unless my toes are really dirty from being barefoot, which is very rare outside, I will scrub them. I'll even take like a toenail brush and scrub them. But otherwise when I take a normal shower, nope, I get right out. I'm ready to hang up the phone now. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love you, Chrissy. I'm ready to hang up. Don't hang up on me. I'll let you go so that way it's cordial. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're nice about it. We're nice about the disagreement. <laughs> That's right. Okay. We can agree to disagree. Yeah, like you're wrong, but you're kindly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> when you back up, when you back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. Do you wash your feet in the shower, right? You're not a serial killer. Hello. 100%. Thank you. Oh, my God. I cannot believe the amount of people that do not wash their feet. I'm I'm sick over here. In fact, I'm unwell. Very unwell. I'm I'm uh, choking down my smoothie as I hear all of this. Oh, well, that sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. My husband was a non-feet washer <gasps> until we got together. I was going to say, there's no way you married a non-feet washer. That's criminal. Uh, no, I've definitely, I've taught him well. Okay, so why, yeah, walk me through how you taught your husband how to wash his feet. A grown-ass man. Walk me through that. Well, I I mean, we shower together and I'm just like, listen, you need to wash your feet because that is freaking disgusting. I'm sorry. Well, you can't just let the water run down. That does not wash them. I'm hold on. Uh, I am on a new path now. You shower together? Yes. Like daily? Yes. Like by choice? Well, not what? every, not every single time. What? But yeah, saves water. Oh my god! Oh well, my god! That's like my safe time. Like in the shower, I do weird things. Not like weird things, but you know, I don't want you watching me while I shave my Pikachu. <laughs> No, I definitely don't do that while he's in the shower. That is my alone shower. That is when I take my nice long shower. Okay, so there's an alone shower and a husband shower. Yeah. Sounds exhausting. (laughs) I I don't know what to, I don't really even know what to do or say today. This is a very bizarre show. (laughs) (laughs) He helps me wash my back. He helps you, you can't reach your back? Well, I can reach my back, but why reach it if I can have him help me? Yeah, why do anything if your husband can do it? I get that. I do get that. (laughs) (laughs) So now he has to wash his feet before he gets out of the shower in front of you. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not going to wash his feet for him. I will tell him to wash his feet. Well, that's what I I mean. I think that's probably why I pushed it so much because I just, I really do not like feet. Okay. All right. Thank you for being on my side. You're the first person that's like, yes, I do wash my feet like a normal person. Yes. Yes, definitely. Always wash your feet. Soap and water. And I'm teaching my kids the same. Please, wash your feet. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. I'm so unwell. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Have a great day. Chrissy in the morning. All right, emergency. Emergency press conference. Emergency press conference. Emergency press conference. That's an emergency press conference. All right, emergency press conference. On Q97.9. This is wild. This is wild to me. And you know what? Calling all mothers and maybe even parents at this point, I have got to know your opinion on this. 
when you are with your children at a grocery store. Now, I don't know if you saw this on TikTok. I'm about to I'm about to update you. But this mom, she was on the Today Show. She was on Good Morning America. She created this huge controversy because she says that she never returns her grocery carts and she's unapologetic about it when she has her kids with her. And she's encouraging everybody else in the world to also not return their grocery carts. And she says, you can judge me all you want. I admire the way she is very unapologetic, but what I don't admire is, let's look at all the other details here. You have got people who do this for a living. They have to go outside, and I know you've seen them. Sometimes I want to tip the guys that are out in the grocery store parking lot putting back all the grocery carts that you can't seem to put back. One of my biggest things is I don't like when people are too lazy and they won't go and put their cart back. It doesn't take much. It truly doesn't take much. It's not a big task. It, it's, you're just being a good person, a kind person, okay? And I'm not even kidding you. When I was dating back before my boyfriend, I would literally say to the guy, I'm like, hey, what kind of guy are you? And he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, do you put your grocery cart back or not? And depending on their answer is depending on if I would go out with them again. One time even, <laughs> one, one time even, I took a guy after a first date. I said, hey, do you want to go grab some snacks and we'll go on a walk? The reason I did that was because I wanted to bring him to the grocery store to see if he was going to put the cart back before we got back into his car. <laughs> So I'm very, very, very serious about this. So back to this mom who says she's never returned a grocery cart in her life because she's with her kids. This is the video that went nationally viral. I'm not returning my shopping cart and you can judge me all you want. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So if you're going to give me a dirty look, off. I, I, and again, this is where I need you as a mother to call the show 775-7979. Give me your opinion. You could stay anonymous. But because I don't have kids, I can't speak on this, the kid part. That's where I'm going to need your voice. However, what I can speak on is you absolutely should return your car. It, it takes two seconds. It takes two seconds. So don't put the kid in the car yet then. Hold the kid's hand. Hold your child's hand while you return the car. And my issue here is you're not exempt. You're not above everybody else. And my biggest thing here is show your child the give them an example of what you should be doing give them an example of the correct thing to do bring that card back nobody works for you nobody everybody is in the same battle that you are battling right now so 775-7979 where are my parents at i need your voice to speak on this and we're gonna get into a battle because an emergency press conference it all starts with town and country federal credit union and it ends with you so let's bring it back up bring it back up chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I would say most people are disagreeing with this mom that went viral on TikTok for this. I'm not returning my shopping cart. And you can judge me all you want. Yikes. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So if you're going to give me a dirty look, off. I have never heard someone say so many wrong things one after the other yeah. consecutively in a row. All right, I'm going to my phone lines. Welcome to Chrissy in the morning. What do you think, girlfriend? Okay, so as a mom of an almost one-year-old, I can understand the frustration right. of having to bring your cart back after putting your child in the car. I can understand that you need, you have that respect that you think that you need to apply, but in the society that we live in, leaving your children in the car is pretty scary because anyone can run up at that point in time and just take them. Yeah, but I would no assume... No, way, I can I would assume you I shut the door and lock it. And then that's where the weird thing comes, because then you have Fair. the older generation that comes and is like, oh, you just left your child in the car, you're a bad mom. 
And then you're a bad person if you return the car or if you don't return the car. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're literally a bad person for whatever you do. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and that is the anthem of 2024. You just can't win. No, you can't. You really, truly can't. And add social media on top of it, you're done. Oh, absolutely. Especially when someone catches you doing something and they twist it just the way they want to. Yeah, you're done. You're done. (laughs) Bring it back up. Bring it back up. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I don't even have to make the arguments right now. I don't even have to fight back because you you guys are fighting back for me against this viral TikToker. This mom has said this. I'm not returning my shopping cart. And you can judge me all you want. I am. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So if you're going to give me a dirty look... This is so dramatic. You don't have to leave your kids in the car for 10 minutes. It's a two-second walk to put your car back in the corral. I don't know. Welcome to the show. Let's get it. So I kind of think the same thing as other people. I try to park close to the corral. But I also wanted to add that when I had an infant, on several occasions, there are other nice people in the parking lot that will occasionally take your cart to the corral for you without even asking. Oh, that's good to hear. There are other are other options out there. Yeah, like make other people do it. <laughs> you can always ask for a hand, but some people are nice enough to just do it for you. Oh man, I, I can't wait to see that day. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> but maybe because I've there never had a kid. There are good people out there. <laughs> there are good people out there, I will say that. And even if somebody doesn't do it for you, I feel like there's just ways around it to make sure you still do the right thing and bring your card back. And and truthfully, I think we should start a system where we tip cart boys or cart girls that should be a job oh i agree if no one could help me i would take him to the corral and walk him back to the car so i get it too good okay so you're a good person thank you (laughs) yes thank you q97.9 what do you think okay so listen i'm I'm sure that the people who have watched my children and me running around the parking lot as we're trying to return a cart appreciate more that i don't return the cart rather than not being able to back out of a parking spot because there are children running everywhere throughout the parking lot. Of Ooh, the a plot twist. I like it. Okay, so you're saying it's okay to not return your cart because you have kids. If it's going to be a safety issue or like everyone, yeah. Well, I guess my question here is, and you know what? I don't have kids, so feel free to um, correct me if I'm wrong. Wh- why would your kids be running around the parking lot if you're going to put them in the car? Shouldn't you put them in the car or like hold their hand or what happens here because they do believe you can do both you just have to have the right strategy you either put the cart back first and then we deal with the kids or well if you have older children that can walk or run and have selective hearing they sometimes break away from your hand and take off running oh it's a fun time you should try it yeah no i have an iud i'm gonna keep it Fair enough. I'm gonna no, keep sometimes it. kids don't listen. Sometimes it's they fair. take off on you. It happens. It, and in the parking lot, that's just really not a good idea. So you either put the kids in the car, and if the cart girl is five miles away, then, you know, probably just leave it next to the car so you don't leave your kids alone in the car. No, here's the thing. I don't think it's so black and white. It's not taking care of your kids or putting the cart back. I believe you could do both. All right, I can't wait to see what happens when people hear that. <laughs> oh, people are going to hate me and be like, oh, take care of your kids. Teach your kids to listen. Do whatever. Well, there are certain situations that just don't allow for that. So, hey, look, they're um, just Karens. They're just Karens. It's okay. We all speak our minds on this show, whether we agree or disagree with me. Yeah, a lot of people do take care of their kids, and uh, the kids still don't obey, I guess. So we're, we're airing... We're erring on the side of it's okay not to put your cart back if you have kids. I mean, in certain situations, yeah. No, no, no. Don't beat around the bush. If you're just being a about it, then no, put the cart back Lord. in the corral. But sometimes you can't park next to it because there's 5 million people at the Hannaford because it's Memorial Day weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> Very specific. This is this this is <laughs> triggering you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's just an example. But no, like, some parents just can't. Yeah, no, this is triggering. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I'm going to just say it. I think you uh, belong in jail if you don't bring your grocery cart back to where it belongs and leave it in the parking lot. Hello. 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 Hello
Hello, this is Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. I already hear your kid crying in the background. <laughs> oh, no, he's happy. He's tall. He's pulling off his shoe and he's eating a chocolate munch again and a Tito. So he's, he's living life. He's oh, good. That sounds like the life to me, too, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, I briefly heard you guys were talking about shopping carts and putting them away with kids. Yeah, give me your opinion here. Because there's a viral TikToker that says... If you have kids, you should be exempt from bringing your cart back, and she just won't do it. I'm not returning my shopping cart. This is her. And you can judge me all you want. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So, so if I'm kind of like 50-50. Like, if it's just my son, I leave him in the cart with, and I'm putting the groceries in, then I'll wheel the cart over with him still in it, and then I'll carry him to my car. Yeah, like, I feel like that's not rocket science. Why Why are people not doing this more? So I feel like it's probably with kids, like, with two. So uh, I'm about have to have a kids. newborn. I'm probably not going to leave him and her in the cart, put my groceries away, then go put the cart away, then carry them both back because that would just be I get that. a nightmare. But I don't know. So I'll, I'll have to let you know once I have the baby. Yeah, I'm going to need a call back on this one. But here's my thing with that is... Why wouldn't you put the two-year-old in the car along with the groceries all in one trip like you would anyway, and then you bring the newborn with you? You like you don't have to leave. You don't have to take the newborn out of the cart just yet, and you Mm -hmm. just wheel the newborn with the cart back, take the newborn out, and get back into the car, and everyone's happy. And I don't know how many more times I could say newborn in one sentence. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) It's just. I think it's the day that we live in. Like, people just yeah. don't feel safe doing that anymore, and that's really sad. Maybe back then we could have, you know, like, just like we don't let kids walk around very much anymore or play yeah. outside because people are creepy and you never know. So, like, I would get freaked out, but I tried. I do try my best to park pretty close to the cart thing in case yeah. I do have to do that. But I also have an 8-year-old daughter, so I, I feel comfortable with Ooh, her because she knows how to... Car. Yeah, I know how to, she knows how to call 911. I give her my phone, I lock her in, and I'll put her brother with her in it. But if it was just me and the baby, I wouldn't feel comfortable just being like, all right, you stay right there. No, and I get that, but but I guess, and a lot of people have said that, but my thing is, what about locking that? Like, the the corral is not that far away. It's not a 10-minute walk. You're just locking the car, keep the car on, keep the AC on, whatever it is, and then you bring the car back. It only takes, like, a minute. Oh yeah, no, I I totally you know agree. I mean? I'm that's why I'm kind of torn. Like I get what other people are coming from, but at the same time, it's not complicated. Yeah, like we don't have to make this a 2024 Karen type of situation. I feel like that's no. what a lot of people are doing. No, a lot of it is just kind of laziness. Yeah, thank you. That's the word I'm looking for, laziness. Because I can't say because I don't have kids. People will yell at me. But if you say it and you have kids, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yes, I definitely always try to put my cart back, even with kids. I'll either lock him in or bring my son with me and just carry him back because chances are I'm not far from the cart thing. You know what? Maybe I am just going to say you're lazy. You're lazy if you don't put your cart back. (laughs) I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. (laughs) Right, Regina? Please stop talking. It's Chrissy in the morning. Culture shock on Q97.9. Which is made possible by Lee Audemol. Now, this is a culture shock because when is the last time you've ever seen a flamingo anywhere in New England? Yeah, give me some good music behind this. It's kind of a feel-good story. But also, the more that I research this, the more that I'm kind of feeling bad for this little baby flamingo. I don't know if it's a baby. I just made that up. But here's what's happening. My boyfriend yesterday was like, you know, he's so cute. Sometimes he helps me with my my show prep. And he goes, hey, did you talk about the flamingo yet? <laughs> I'm like, babe, what? <laughs> what? Do you want me to talk about a flamingo? And he's like, no, 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 no. There was a flamingo that was spotted in... Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I was like, you're lying. He was not lying. So I checked my email and here it was. Flamingo spotted on Cape Cod in what may be a first for Massachusetts. The experts are saying. Now, God, I hate this word. I haven't used this word since COVID. It's very rare and possibly unprecedented. I did good that time. (laughs) For a dyslexic girlie, that was pretty damn good. But there's a flamingo sighting in Massachusetts. And I don't know if you saw this or not. But if the bird is found to be wild, which they're working on right now, it would be the first American flamingo ever confirmed to have visited the Bay State on its own. Now, there's a bunch of images of the bird. It is definitely a flamingo. I can't imagine what it would be like sitting there just hanging out on the beach and you see a flamingo. I'd be like, oh, my God, how many margaritas did I have? And then I'd be like, wait a minute. I don't drink during the week. This is real. 
This is real. He's just hanging out in the water offshore. And I'm going to post these pictures up on not only our Instagram, if you're following us on Q97.9, but I'm also going to put this in a blog for you that you can check out. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to be trending on our app at the same time. So just all the perks to have it, to have our app. Um, it was previously spotted on Long Island in New York. Wild. And one of the bird watchers said this is definitely the same bird. So I think he's lost, guys. I think this flamingo is lost. Now, when they asked the bird expert why why they think the animal flew up here, they said, I have no idea why it's flying north. This is actually one of the most bizarre cases we've ever seen. And, you know, I thought that these were flock birds. When's the last time you ever saw a flamingo not in a flock? So American flamingos, they typically stick to Florida and go south. Oh, I'm the more I read this while we're live on air, I'm like, oh, no, my brain is spinning like we have to get the bird and put it back in Florida. And I wonder if that's what they're working on. But it seems like the bird was displaced. And here's a quote. They said they think the bird was displaced by the hurricane and doesn't really know where it lives anymore. Oh, I'm actually going to start crying. This is so Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. Helium hip hop. Now, this is where <laughs> this is where I love working with twenty something year olds because they will do just about anything to get on the radio. And here's Lydia, where I gave her a, a helium bloom, <laughs> and I wanted to see if she could finish the lyrics to a Taylor Swift song because we're in our Taylor Swift era, you know. We're in our Taylor Swift era. Let's see how she does. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know we used to be mad love. So take a look what you've done. Cause baby. Now we got problems, and I don't think we can solve them. You made a really deep cut, cause baby, now we got bad blood. Hey! And baby, now we got bad blood. Did you have to ruin yes. what was shining? Yes. was all rusted, did Higher. you? Higher. Uh. Did you have to ruin? I was thinking that you could be trusted, did you? What was shining, now it's all rusted. Did you have to... Oh my God, I'm like, like gonna die. You could do oh. it. No, it's all done. Finish the sentence. What was shining, now it's all rusted. Did you have to hit me? Where I'm weak, baby, I couldn't breathe. And I always thought that you could be... Those are the wrong words. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm gonna stop her. <laughs> no, it's definitely the wrong word. I think it's word. did you. you. Did you. I wasn't sure you were going to make it. You look like you're going to pass out. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, what's that after that? It's ruining really my brain cells. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I'm tapping out. <laughs> Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I mean, it's viral everywhere, so we got to talk about it. It's the TikTok mom that thinks that she is exempt from bringing her grocery cart back just because she has kids. Listen to this. I'm not returning my shopping cart and you can judge me all you want. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So if you're going to give me a dirty look. Well, guess what? Guess what? Uh, our main listeners have some opinions on this. Go ahead. Hello. So I kind of think the same thing as other people. I try to park close to the corral. But I also wanted to add that when I had an infant, on several occasions, there are other nice people in the parking lot that will occasionally take your cart to the corral for you without even asking. Oh, so that's there good are, to hear. There are other, are other options out there. Yeah, like make other people do it. <laughs> you can always ask for a hand, but some people are nice enough to just do it for you. 
Oh, man. I, I can't wait to see that day. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> but maybe because I've there never had a kid. There are good people out there. <laughs> there are good people out there. I will say that. And even if somebody doesn't do it for you, I feel like there's just ways around it to make sure you still do the right thing and bring your card back. And and truthfully, I think we should start a system where we tip cart boys or cart girls. That should be a job. Oh, I agree. If no one could help me, I would take him to the corral and walk him back to the car. So good. I get it, too. Good. Okay, so you're a good person. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Q97.9, what do you think? Okay, so listen. I'm, I'm sure that the people who have watched my children and me running around the parking lot as we're trying to return a cart appreciate more that I don't return the cart rather than not being able to back out of a parking spot because there are children running everywhere throughout the parking lot. Of Ooh, the a plot twist. I like it. Okay, so you're saying... It's okay to not return your cart because you have kids. If it's going to be a safety issue or like everyone, yeah. Well, I guess my question here is, and you know what? I don't have kids, so feel free to um, correct me if I'm wrong. Wh why would your kids be running around the parking lot if you're going to put them in the car? Shouldn't you put them in the car or like hold their hand or what happens here? Because I do believe you can do both. You just have to have the right strategy. You either put the cart back first and then we deal with the kids or well if you have older children that can walk or run and have selective hearing they sometimes break away from your hand and take off running oh it's a fun time you should try it yeah no i have an iud i'm gonna keep it <laughs> <laughs> fair enough i'm gonna you know, keep sometimes it. kids don't listen sometimes they take off on you it happens it and in the parking lot that's just really not a good idea so you either put the kids in the car and if the cart girl is five miles away, then, you know, probably just leave it next to the car so you don't leave your kids alone in the car. No, here's the thing. I don't think it's so black and white. It's not taking care of your kids or putting the cart back. I believe you could do both. All right. I can't wait to see what happens when people hear that. <laughs> oh, people are going to hate me and be like, oh, take care of your kids. Teach your kids to listen. Do whatever. Well, there are certain situations that just don't allow for that. So, hey, look, they're um, just Karens. They're just Karens. It's okay. We all speak our minds on this show, whether we agree or disagree with me. Yeah. A lot of people do take care of their kids and uh, the kids still don't obey, I guess. So the we're, we're airing... Not perfect. We're erring on the side of it's okay not to put your cart back if you have kids. I mean, in certain situations, yeah. No, no, no. Don't beat around the bush. If you're just being a about it, then no, put the cart back in the corral. But sometimes you can't park next to it because there's 5 million people at the Hannaford because it's Memorial Day weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> Very specific. This is this this is <laughs> triggering you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's just an example. But no, like, some parents just can't. Yeah, no, this is triggering. It's Let's begin now. Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9. I woke up this morning and I said... Hello, this is Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. I already hear your kid crying in the background. <laughs> oh, no, he's happy. He's talking. He's pulling off a shoe and he's eating a chocolate munch chicken and a Tito. So he's, he's living life. He's oh, good. Yeah, that sounds like the life to me, too, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, I briefly heard you guys were talking about shopping carts and putting them away with kids. Yeah, give me your opinion here. Because there's a viral TikToker that says, if you have kids, you should be exempt from bringing your cart back and she just won't do it. I'm not returning my shopping cart. And you can judge me all you want. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So I'm kind of like 50-50. Like, if it's just my son i leave him in the cart with and i'm putting the groceries in then i'll wheel the cart over with him still in it and then i'll carry him to my car yeah like i feel like that's not rocket science why why are people not doing this more so i feel like it's probably with kids like with two so i'm about to have a newborn i'm probably not going to leave him and her in the cart put my groceries away then go put the cart away then carry them both back because that would just be a nightmare but i don't know so i'll, I'll have to let you know once i have the baby yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a call back on this one. But here's my thing with that is why wouldn't you put the two year old in the car along with the groceries all in one trip like you would anyway, and then yeah. you bring the newborn with you. You like well, you don't have to leave. You don't have to take the newborn out of the cart just yet, and you mm -hmm. just wheel the newborn with the cart back, take the newborn out, and get back into the car, and everyone's happy. And I don't know how many more times I can say newborn in one sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. 
I think it's the day that we live in. Like, people just don't feel safe doing that anymore, and that's really sad. Maybe back then we could have, you know, like, just like we don't let kids walk around very much anymore or play outside because people are creepy and you never know. So, like, I would get freaked out, but I tried, I do try my best to park pretty close to the cart thing in case I do have to do that. But I also have an eight year old daughter, so I I feel comfortable with her because she knows how to. Yeah, I know how to, she knows how to call 911. I give her my phone, I lock her in, and I'll put her brother with her in it. But if it was just me and the baby, I wouldn't feel comfortable just being like, all right, you stay right there. No, and I get that, but but I guess, and a lot of people have said that, but my thing is, what about locking that? Like, the the corral is not that far away. It's not a 10-minute walk. You're just locking the car, keep the car on, keep the AC on, whatever it is, and then you bring the car back. It only takes, like, a minute. Oh, yeah. No, I, I totally agree. I'm That's why I'm kind of torn. Like, I get what other people are coming from, but at the same time, it's not complicated. Yeah, like, we don't have to make this a 2024 Karen type of situation. I feel like that's no. what a lot of people are doing. No, a lot of it is just kind of laziness. Yeah, thank you. That's the word I'm looking for, laziness. Because I can't say because I don't have kids. People will yell at me. But if you say it and you have kids, it's fine. <laughs> yes, I definitely always try to put my cart back, even with kids. I'll either lock him in or bring my son with me and just carry him back because chances are I'm not far from the cart thing. You know what? Maybe I am just going to say you're lazy. You're lazy if you don't put your cart back. <laughs> Chrissy in the morning on Q97.9.